I just need five minutes. Just give me five minutes. Hey, everybody. It's Army Guy E8. Welcome back to World of Tanks console. Today, we're here at Pilsen, and we're here to take a look at the new premium Swedish Tier 8 heavy tank, the Emil 1951. There are three Swedish Tier 8 heavy tanks. This is the second premium in this class. We took this tank into battle 83 times with a 59% win rate. We one marked it and we earned an ace tanker. So here's the bluff, the bottom line up front. It's an okay tank. There's nothing exciting or special about this tank. It's playable, but it's nearly exactly the same as the Barracuda tank that's already in the game. Except this tank has a two second reload buff, but it has 30 millimeters less of frontal upper plate armor. This tank does have a three shot clip that can deal over a thousand damage in about five and a half seconds. It has pretty decent mobility and it has a great 12 degrees of gun depression and the turret can bounce one or two shots, but it has poor gun handling. We shot a lot of dirt in this tank while we were playing it and the turret can be easily penetrated through the front by premium ammo or higher tier tanks. This tank needs a long, slow battle to be useful. Let's go take a look at the details. But first, I have a very important meeting. Just five minutes. Just give me five minutes. Woo! -wee! It stinks in here. What is that? Holy smokes, you gotta be kidding me. All right, let's take a look. Hey, turn your gun around so I can come out on the platform. Don't look at me like that. Turn your gun around. All right, the tank's origins. A prototype of a heavy tank that was developed for the Swedish Army under the Emil project of the 1950s. The development was preceded by deep scientific research. All required characteristics were calculated using complex formulas. Based on those calculations, a draft design was prepared in 1951, but development was discontinued for a later version. This premium vehicle has a 10% XP bonus and a 50% silver bonus. All right, the details we're about to look at are exactly the same for both Barracuda and the Emil 51, except the rate of fire and reload time. Speed, you're gonna go 45 kilometers an hour in these tanks. The guns are at 10.5 centimeter, 105 millimeter IFCOM Lima 67 gun. The rate of fire for this bad boy right here is 4.68 rounds a minute. For the Barracuda, 4.44. The reload time for this one is 33 seconds. The Barracuda is 35 seconds. They both have a 2.75 second interclip reload between each round. The accuracy on both tanks starts at a .40. That's not very good. The aim time is a slow 2.7 seconds. That's another reason why we're probably shooting dirt a lot. Gun depression is a great 12 degrees. Gun elevation is 14 degrees. You have 360 meters of view range to start with. We're up to 440 with a six skill commander. You have 1400 hit points. Ammo, the alpha ammo is APCR and it'll pen about 217 millimeters. The premium Bravo ammo is also APCR and it'll pen about 242 millimeters. You'll hit the enemy for about 360 hit points when you pen them. The Charlie ammo was HE and it'll pen about 53 millimeters. I love the velocity of the Bravo ammo, 1,350 meters. What is this? Let's go take a look at the armor. Why didn't somebody say anything? Do you know how embarrassing that is? All right, let's check out the armor on both of these vehicles. The frontal turret armor thickness is between 55 and 250 millimeters on both these tanks. The frontal hull armor thickness is between 100 and 120 millimeters. But now the difference is quite obvious. The Barracuda has an extra layer of 30 millimeter plates on the front. The Emil 1951 doesn't have that. That's not a good idea. So in my opinion, that makes the Barracuda a better tank. 
All right, we've got a six skill 3D commander in our tank and she's ready to go. It's Carmilla. Enemies incoming. She's running six sense situational awareness and camo expert. Born leader, steady aim and rapid loading. Let's go. The equipment we're running on this tank is optics, gun stabilizer, advanced concealment. That helps out with those long aim times. And of course, enhanced targeting information. We're even running rations to get that little extra boost on this tank when you need them. This one is briskets and gravy. That's pretty good. I think it has M&Ms. Anybody want to trade M&Ms? I want Skittles. Got an enemy here. Penetration. With its hard hitting auto loader, excellent gun depression, and sloped turrets, this tank can be devastating on the battlefield. It's a must have for fans of the haul down game. The Emil 1951 is an outstanding support tank for your frontline assaults and for finishing off enemies quickly. You can deal about 1,080 hit points in about five and a half seconds in this tank. Assume your haul down position and get ready to score solid hits and repel the enemy with your brutal gun slope turrets, and excellent gun depression. Reinforce your team's attack with efficient close range support. And make sure to keep your hull well protected to maximize the effects of this tank. All right, that's it. Those are the numbers. Make sure and stick around and watch the replay where we got an ace tanker right here on this map. But I like the 12 degrees gun depression. You're at home. Hey, we hit him through my teammate. Don't shoot me. Back it up. Come on, we need to keep the gun singing, we need to shoot. Emil 51 is 13,000 gold fully loaded bundle. Barracuda is 10,000 gold in tech tree. Uh-huh, there you go. Four, three, two, one. Didn't hit. It looked like it could have pinned. Come on. Three more magazines, baby. Run the food. Run it, food. We kill this guy, we'll move up. Oh, they killed him. Lock them up! Come on!
Two more magazines. We're almost there. <laughs> that was my three button. All right, two and a half, one and a half mags. Let's do a mag dump and a reload. Is that tank destroyer? Yeah, he is. Oh, good. Full health, 1100 health. I'll take that. Yes, please. All right. Two health. Eat a potato. Nice. All right, we could win this. As long as this M41 doesn't run rope dopes on everybody. Six seconds and you're dead. Dang it. I hate it when a light tank comes in at the end and just smokes everybody. Where's everybody out? Good. Good. Baby, 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 baby. Come on. We got to fix this ammo rack. 17 seconds. The ammo rack is killing me. Keep moving, baby. Keep moving. Let's go. Stay alive, Hydra. All right. We can get hit once. Nice. Give me another. Yes. One more. Yes. Woo. 6,000 combined. This has got to be an ace. We got to get the ace. We got to get it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. MVP. Woo. Come on. Ace, baby. Come on. Give me the ace. I can't do any more than this. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Ace tanker. There we go. Woo! Oh, done. Hold on a second. Ah, uh, let me sit here for a second. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, done. And done. Woo. Now the chair's screwed up. I don't know which way to put it. There we go. Ah, uh, I woke the old dog up. Nuts! <laughs> I deserve another nap. I do. I'm going back to bed. Three battles. We finally aced it. The pressure is off. Ah, oh, give me a second. I got to hold on. <laughs>